Hi, y'all. You know what time it is. It's story time with Chris. How are we doing on this wonderful Sunday evening? Now, you may be wondering why I'm not only carrying this book, but also this book. For those who are fans of Dr. Seuss's more popular works, which is Oh, the Places You Will Go and The Lorax, probably are wondering why I picked these two books specifically. I wanted to post this on the YouTube channel because I said I wanted to do shorter excerpts um, while I'm on here. I'm trying to get the chapter, uh, the novels that I'm reading to transfer on here, but for some reason, whenever I go live on Facebook, it's not letting me download those videos. So I apologize for those who are waiting on that. But I picked these two books because as of March 2nd, uh, the Dr. Seuss Enterprise group has decided to discontinue six specific books that have racist imagery and caricatures of people of color within them or talking about them. So the reason why I bring that up is because let this be a discussion of a teachable moment rather than a discussion of contention. Let me clarify by saying that the company is not stopping all Dr. Seuss books from publication. Okay, The Cat in the Hat is still available, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, um, Horton Hears a Who, The Lorax, Oh, The Place You Will Go, Green Eggs and Ham, it's all available. Okay, and let's keep in mind that Dr. Seuss is one of the most popular children's uh, writers and artists that made, you know, these books available so that children could get excited about reading and get excited about just building one's imagination with his voracious vocabulary and his wonderful usage of words and color and, and, and deep full meaning. And let's just keep in mind that not all of our heroes in regards to writers or uh, movies or films or actors, not all of them are, you know, perfect. Everybody has some dirt that, you know, comes to light every now and then. This is not news to me that uh, these six books were going to be discontinued because one, they're not that popular and two, they actually are offensive. And for me specifically, I feel like as a person of color, we tend to, the community as a large for people of color, we tend to be able to pick up on more on things that actually are racist and offensive than those who are white. And let me just preface this by saying that this was a decision not made because some kids on Instagram and Facebook were complaining about it and boohooing and crying. This is a conscious decision of integrity that the company made that were like, hey, we can't do this anymore. These are views that are antiquated and are not accurate to what our company stands for right now. We have to take them down. That's just how it is. And rather, I applaud them for their decision. But I also, it also made me think, and I was talking about this with a friend earlier today, um, thinking about like some of my favorite Disney films, uh, The Three Caballeros and uh, Peter Pan and Dumbo have incredibly racist images and characters that are utilized within it and depictions of people of color that are not accurate to say the least. Uh, the Native American tribes that are, you know, completely red and they're called Indians, which is not an accurate term for them. Um... And then you have in Dumbo, the leader of the group of crows, his name is literally named Jim Crow. It's fact, you can look it up. And the fact that they were having them speak in more of an Ebonic dialect is a racist mockery of black people. And um, in Three Caballeros, there's a problematic depiction of Latin American people from Latin American countries, especially with some of the characters that Donald meets in that film it's just some of it is good others I'm just like this would not fly today um and that's the thing and I applaud them for I applaud the company for their decision but I also want to bring something up to a point rather than erase it and act as though it was not there and was not made let it be a teachable moment and let it be viewable for those who wish to watch it um specifically talking about those films and uh, because Disney has pulled Dumbo and Peter Pan from the children's profiles of Disney Plus not the adult profiles so the adult profiles you can watch them but if you go see it right now which you can it's available on Disney Plus 
there is a 30 second disclaimer that these depictions in this movie may be racist and offensive that they are antiquated views of a different time they were offensive then and they are offensive now and they are not a reflection of where the company is currently has been and is going uh, Warner Brothers with Looney Tunes, they did an impressive, before Disney Plus was even a thing, they did an impressive disclaimer uh, when they would show their old school Looney Tunes cartoons about how they were, you know, antiquated and racist and not a reflection of what the company is now. And they have a no tolerance policy for that type of imagery and um, rhetoric with that. So like I said, everybody just calm down. Take the blinders off and just see and try to build a different perspective of the fact that, yes, these there are books that have racist depictions of people of color. There are movies and films and even animations that have racist depictions and rather act like that they never happen or it's not that big of a deal. Let's actually make this a teachable moment and talk about why they are offensive and why they're this way. I knew as a kid and I kid you not I knew as a kid without an adult having to tell me even if I couldn't verbalize specifically what it was I knew the crows from Dumbo were not how black people acted I was like that's not how we act I knew the Native Americans in um, Peter Pan which they were called the Indians that is not the proper term and that is not how they are in real life and the way you know that they were wrong for doing that is if you notice in Peter Pan Return to Neverland, you don't see the tribe in that movie. They show the encampment, but you do not see the tribe because the way they were drawn and, 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 and depicted was not at all accurate. And it was a horrible mockery of those wonderful people. So like I said, let this be a teachable moment. Because like I said, Dr. Seuss, there are some really great books, this being one of them that talks about environmentalism. It's a good thing. So, I will be reading this to you shortly. I just had to give that little disclaimer. Let this be a teachable moment among families, among friends, because guess what? Racism is still rampant in this country, in this world. And rather than act as though it doesn't exist or have the attitude which most uh, white people have about these topics and themes, is that the they, most of them have the idea... And this is excluding those who don't, so keep that in mind. If it doesn't affect me directly, why should I care? A lot of people have that mentality. If it doesn't affect me directly, why should I care? Why is it a big deal? And rather have that attitude, try to take the time to look at it from somebody else's shoes. Somebody who grew up with those um, racist ads and caricatures of black people that were super dark with giant pink lips and big ears and... Um, having to see actors like al johnson uh do blackface and make bank and seeing people like john wayne do yellowface by playing genghis khan in a film which makes no sense or see mickey rooney play a japanese angry landlord in breakfast at tiffany's obviously those things were bad and we don't see them anymore because they're not a reflection of our society today we know that they are wrong from then, and we have a zero tolerance policy for now. So if you're willing to get on that train, come along. If not, it's on you. But let this be a teachable moment, rather than to disregard it as, oh, it's just people complain about every little thing, and, you know, we can't never have nothing. That's not what this is about. This is more so about having the, the, the gumption to say, hey, this was a mistake we made from back in the day. We are doing our best to make up for it. And this is the way we are doing it. Plus, those six books that they uh, discontinued were not that popular. Just saying. So, um, give me a few minutes and I will be back.